Hi friend, this is JP from toughtones.com and in this video I want to show you how you can drastically improve your mix within minutes with just a few plugins. You can either do this as the very first thing when you're starting out your mix or at the end of your mixing process. And I want to show you an example of both of them. And what I'm talking about here is mix bus processing. All my tracks are going into this mix bus and I'm adding plugins to that. So basically these plugins affect the whole mix. This first example is something you can do in the end of the mix. So let me show you what these plugins do to the mix. Right, so this is all about polishing your entire mix even further. The first plugin is EQ. With this, I've cut some of the harshness out of the whole mix. Well, let me show you what I mean. So basically, just trying to tame those harsh frequencies a bit. And then I have another EQ here. At first low cut filter, 1 dB high shelf boost, cutting some more harshness out, around 2.5k, and then cutting some of the mud out, around 200 Hz. Let's take a listen how this affects the whole mix. Kind of subtle but really opens up the mix. Right, moving on. Next up, I have a compressor here. Let's take a listen. This glues the whole mix together and adds a nice energy boost. The next plugin that I have here is a harmonic enhancer. Basically this emulates the vacuum tubes and transformers and so on, giving that nice analog warmth. Take a listen before and after. Again, really subtle, and I don't want to overdo this. A saturation plugin would work perfectly for this purpose also. And the final plugin in my mix bus is limiter. This is just for lifting up the volume of my mix. Right, so this is just for lifting up the volume. Right, let's take one more comparison before and after all the mix bus processing. Kind of subtle, yes, but instantly makes the whole mix better. Right, so this was done after mixing all the individual tracks in the end of the mixing process. But this is something that you can do as the very first thing when you're starting out mixing, before mixing any of the individual tracks. And I want to show you an example of that too. So as you can see, I've bypassed all the plugins from individual tracks. So I've set the basic balance, and that's it, I'm ready to mix. Let's take a quick listen how the raw tracks sound like. Alright, 
I could start mixing individual tracks or I could start with mix plus processing. So basically you're trying to sculpture the whole mix closer to a final mix with just a few plugins. The benefit of this is to get big wins right from the start and your mix starts to sound better instantly. So let's start with the EQ. I'm going to play back the biggest part of my song and start EQing. Right, I don't want to make too big moves because this affects all the tracks, but the mix sounds a lot better already. Let's continue with compression. I want to use a slow attack because I don't want to mess with the transients too much, and a pretty low ratio too because I don't want this to be too obvious. Alright, so let's try this on. Right, moving on to the Harmonic Enhancer slash Saturation plugin. I think that's enough for now. So as you can see, these are all pretty subtle moves but together they really add up. So let's take a listen to the whole mix with and without these plugins. Right, hear how much better the mix sounds, with just three plugins and subtle moves. So the next time you're starting to mix a song, you should definitely try this. Hopefully you learned a ton, thank you for watching, leave thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to make a person in music from your home, then check out this free guide I have for you. Cheers!